So first, first practice run down, how, how did that feel this morning? Uh, no, nah, uh, felt really good. Uh, we've been uh, here all week. Um, we're just sort of trying to fine tune, obviously, the positions for people at the moment. But now everything's coming together really good, and there's always room for improvement. So this is why we're here. We thought we'd come down, using the great facilities here at Bath, and um, just trying to refine our technique and stuff before we head out to Beijing. So the positions are they are they still up for grabs? You're still deciding that. It's it's very difficult because every track is sort of different. So. Yeah. Every position is different on every track, so we're, at the minute we're just trying to work out what combination sort of works well, get some numbers on paper, and then when we get to Beijing we can work, try out one, sort of finalise everything really. But will, uh, will you be kind of uh, pilot at the, at the Olympics? Yeah, so I'll be piloting both the two months and four months later. How does that feel to finally say we're going to Beijing? Nah, it's absolutely fantastic. Um, it's been four years of absolute hard graft to, to achieve what we've achieved and nice it's fantastic that we're about to not only represent ourselves but represent Jamaica and everybody that loves cool runners as well so yeah <laughs> so that's thing you put a smile on so many people around the world just the fact that you're there but you're not just there to to, to turn up are you? no we're, the, we're not just there to be participating we're actually there to compete and show the world that Jamaica can compete in winter sports and what is the hope? What's the ambition? What do you want to do out there? I wouldn't want to go to Olympic Games unless we're, we're getting a gold medal. So we've got medals. <laughs> that's what we want. Yeah. But um, I'd love to be the the best Jamaica's done in um, bobsleigh's 14th. So I'd like to get the best um, best result Jamaica's ever had and kind of exp inspire the next generation uh, of Jamaican athletes. And how's the love felt? Because you must have felt the love from so many people from Jamaica and far beyond over the last few days since qualification. I mean, yeah, it's, it's the thing everyone loves cool runnings and I guess now us being part of the team and going to the Olympics, a lot of people kind of see that and they're like, oh my God, cool runnings too. But um, it, it's good. It's good to have that support and, you know, love from the nation because, you know, we're about, you know, we're, we're a small nation and, you know, we want to reach out to all the other athletes and just show that, you know, no matter where you come from, you can achieve. Yeah. And look at us, you know, we're going to the Games now. And the Queen approves your training methods, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she uh, she particularly enjoyed uh, us pushing a mini around the streets to sort of get our training done. But I mean, a, a lot of that came from the from the last lockdown, uh, where we wanted to be as prepared as we could be to qualify for the games. And we can now look back and say we did everything that we could have done to make sure we were prepared to qualify for the games. And now we have. So we're going to enjoy every moment of it, and we're going to go to Beijing and put on the best performance that we can. Sweet. Can you believe that, you know, when you were in lockdown pushing cars around Peterborough, you are now being just weeks away from, from going to the Olympics? At that point, no. But like I said, we, wanted, we wanted to make sure we were giving ourselves every opportunity that we could to make sure we, we qualified. And like, like I said, we can look back now and be absolutely 100% proud of ourselves so that we've put in the hard work, the hard graft to, to achieve what we've achieved. And it, it, it's impressive what we've done because I don't know if a lot of people look at the stats of bobsleigh, but we actually finished the season in the top 50% of all two-man and four-man competition. So um, for us, it's an absolutely fantastic achievement. The federation has come on leaps and bounds, and we're, all we're trying to do now is leave a legacy for the next generation to, to, to come on and, and do bobsleigh. So uh, we're actually looking to expand uh, the athletes that we have for your know, youth program and also our adult program as well so if anybody wants to now come and join the Jamaica Bobsleigh Federation then please get in contact we'd love to hear from you.